Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome welcome to next class of generation of diversity of lymphocyte antigen receptor though your initial part is mostly the um, antibody or B cell receptor. Okay. So, uh, in last lecture we ended up two segment V and J they are heptamer, nonamer how they are coming, how this loop formed and it is deleted or if the sequence is in the reverse direction or opposite orientation then how this recombination happen. Okay. So, um, before studying this part or previous lecture this part I will uh, suggest you those who are not uh, familiar with or do not remember much the recombination you just go through the figures given in book about recombination. So, it will be very um, useful or helpful to understand. Though I am trying to explain like what exactly happening it is not that tough or uh, critical. So, the thing is we are talking about diversity, how diversity is generated in receptors. Initial part you know V D J different number of or multiple number of V D J segments and then combination of different prime um, light chain and heavy chain makes the gives a two different uh, component of diversity in antibody or basal receptor. But what we are discussing in last lecture also in this lecture how this V D J join together what are the proteins and how this because it is important because uh, just that number I mean that two points would have been essential, but there is something which will give another diversity to understand that part. If we understand a little bit detail, it is uh, what I personally feel that uh, to know little detail sometimes is uh, good to generate the interest like otherwise just to remember few lines are very tough. So, if you remember the whole picture what is happening, it will be very easy to uh, remember the things. If you, you can remember the image, you can remember the figures that can help you to remember the whole immunology. Okay. It is not like um, you have to read again and again and again you just remember the figures you understand the logic and definitely you have to remember the correlation between the events then you will see that immunology is not that tough. Okay. So, today's uh, I mean uh, this lecture next slide. So, do not be scared about seeing so many color and protein what it is saying the saying is basically the reaction that recombines B D J different gene segments it involves some very specific proteins that lymphocyte specific protein which is not expressed anywhere else or any other cells not only that it is also not expressed all the time in the lymphocyte uh, just I told in the previous class as soon as the recombination is done many protein will switch up forever and no so that no recombination happening, but some proteins are ubiquitous DNA modifying enzyme because any recombination protein there are various kinds of DNA, DNA repair system present in our cell which helps us to say from mutations and any kind of deletion alterations in our chromosome. So, these protein or those proteins are also involved which are some are common which is present everywhere wherever there is a DNA break they will act wherever there is a DNA break and repair the uh, say for example, the ligase we join two DNA fragment that is common. So, if there is say combination of lymphocyte specific proteins and ubiquitous protein and here I will tell some the name of the protein not all are that important from lymphocyte point of view, but you will see that many of them are very common. Okay. So, if you see let me get the laser. So, if you see this B segment of this gene and if this J segment 1 is again 23 it is again make it very small and thing let me go to little bigger version of that. So, this B segment where you can see this 23 here 
and here j is 12. So, now we will see how this j and b come together. If see first what happened there is a protein called rag okay, r a g it is actually the product of recombination activating gene recombination r activating a and gene g recombination activating gene product there is two different protein rag 1 and rag 2. This rag 1 and rag 2 make a complex okay, that I will see uh, show you just uh, just to show you how it make a complex. So, rag 1 and rag 2 make a complex and this complex first bind to suppose this variable region B segment rather B segment. Okay. So, this um, violet part is a rag 1 and the blue circle is a rag 2. So, this is a heterodimer and then they again make basically a tetramer okay, 2 rag 1 and 2 rag 2. So, they first bind here then what happen another one binds here. So, what uh, just in last class I told one protein binds here another protein binds here they come together. So, what this Ha going to happen. So, they will bring this B and J segment together okay. and B and J segment when they come together then there is endonuclease activity that endonuclease will cut this two strand. So, one cut will be at B uh, one cut one cut will be at V segment another cut will be at J segment and then they will be open. So, this cut what you see this here they cut this segment from the top part. So, there is a loop and the loop was cut and this covalently closed DNA hairpin ends that is very unique kind of thing that I will discuss later in this lecture only. So, this loop go out. Okay. Then what happened this K u 70 and K u 80 what is this K u? K u if you remember your recombination class K u is a heterodimer to K u 70 and K u 80 and which is a heterodimer this Q protein or K u protein is doing what? It is making a ring like structure over the DNA single stranded DNA and it is happening both in case of this, uh, this region also and this region also I mean in the bottom part also it is binding upper part is also binding. So, this actually it is helping DNA recombination this protein helps to DNA dependent uh, bring some DNA dependent protein kinase which another protein is there which we will see how it looks. So, if, if this is the K u 70 and K u 80 bind K u 70 K u 80 bind which is um, uh, end and this uh, what we see here, here this is a covalently closed DNA hairpin ends that I will see uh, tell you little detail later and which is very interesting and um, this then DNA P k this violet big one this DNA P k the protein kinase come then there is another protein Artemis come together then uh, this cutting and joining is coming uh, going to happen then there is a TDT polymerase which I will. So, this 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 place I mean this reaction part is very very interesting and I will tell you much more detail in molecular level what is exactly happening then DNA ligase and XRCC both are coming which is again a DNA uh, repair uh, uh, protein present these K u 70 XRCC 4 DNA ligase these are ubiquitous protein for cell. So, what as a result of this this um, TDT function I will tell later. So, this cut K u 70 brings all this repairing non uh, homologous end joining protein double stand break repair protein. So, these are the protein of necessary for DNA recombination repair mechanism. So, if you want to study this detail you go to any molecular cell biology book and um, or cellular molecular biology book either way you read tell then uh, you can find it there what exactly they are doing in recombination there is nothing new for this purpose only. So, I am just mentioning the name this is not I do not want to go the detail of the recombination and what exactly going on in this recombination, but these proteins like all other uh, regular recombination in cellular process they are also taking part here okay. and ultimately this makes a uh, joining and this join if you see there this is not only this red and yellow 
right this is not the red and yellow there are few more colors are here I will tell you why the what these colors are and in this case the loop part they are they come and the same complex happen the uh, they will be cut in joining and the loop form and loop eliminated from the system not in the same cycle next cycle of cell division what will happen that is outside the chromosome. So, next site uh, next uh, cell division cycle uh, next cell cycle that will not replicate. So, that loop will there till that cell survive as soon as they divide next uh, cell or daughter cell they will not be there anymore. Okay. This is how this um, rag 1 and rag 2 look like this upper violet part is a rag 2 and this uh, this bottom part the green and red this is the rag 1 why I am telling uh, showing you this is a crystal structure just remember. So, what they have the rag 1 has a zinc dependent endonuclease activity this is this enzyme active part or in uh, active part of the enzyme and this part this is bottom tail part is NBD. NBD stands for nonamer binding domain. Nonamer means that same repeat. Okay, nonamer binding domain. You will see uh, the next slide will be little better to understand. So this is same thing. So different. That was a crystal structure. This is cartoon. The cartoon is always better to understand. So this part is a nonamer binding protein which makes a flexible hinge and they make a dimer here. This zinc dependent uh, nucleus domain and this is rag 2. What actually ha exactly happening this nonamer binding site binds to this nonamer this is the nonamer sequence. So, this is uh, same say one DNA sequence this is a variable region and this is the J segment J region. So, V region J region both are heptamer okay. this this region is heptamer and two heptamer space by 1 is 23 another is 12 everything is per, I mean as before whatever we explain. So, this rag 1 this NBD domain interact with nonamer. So, if you go back and see the orientation or the arrangement of nonamer and heptamer nonamer heptamer is just there is one heptamer very close to the segment that we need and then there is a nonamer. So, to nearest nonamer of V segment B segment and J segment are brought together by this NBD domain. As soon as so there is a common domain here which brings one sequence this side another sequence this side. So, this is the V part and this is the J part what will happen then because two DNA is very close here. Okay. So, if there is a, a, the, this protein this uh, NBD actually brings them together. So, there this B segment is very close J segment is very close which is very close to the rag. Okay, rag is rag 1 is this and um, gene dependent endonuclease what it will happen do it will cut here you see the arrow it will cut here. Okay, so, there is no heptamer sequence anymore. So, they will cut just after the heptamer and nonamer. So, in that region there is a specific site they cut and that cut will taken care by that K u protein and all these things just we have seen. After Q binding we saw a another protein that I told a uh, few minutes back the T D T. T D T is terminal deoxy transferase. Okay. Terminal deoxy transferase what is the beauty of that? This enzyme can add nucleotide to the 3 prime end of DNA with a I mean template independently. Normally, DNA polymer is what it is doing during DNA synthesis you need a template and depending on that template and a primer what you need what the DNA polymer is doing if there is a A they will add a T, if there is a G they will add a C, if there is a C they will add G that you know the complementary DNA addition that is how DNA synthesis happen. But terminal deoxytransferase that particular enzyme has a unique capacity that they can add nucleotide randomly without any template. That means, if, if you give all possible nucleotide like 4 nucleotide like uh, deoxy um, ATP, deoxy GTP, CTP and TTP random they will add the nucleotide and there is I mean how long they will add 
as long it is I mean uh, here it is there is a limit, but the, it, it, I mean there is a efficiency that it can add nuclear. If you give only a it will continuously will add a, okay. but it will add at the double stranded DNA 3 prime n only because DNA synthesis normally happen 5 prime to 3 prime synthesis. Okay. So, here is the uh, uh, magic how this TDT work it is very I mean very, uh, very wonderful mechanism if you I mean I will go slow. Okay. So, this is you see this is a sequence which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 this sequence this is suppose here uh, I mean previous slide we are talking about variable and uh, j v and j region here the example is given with d and j region, but it is true for any joining okay. any two segment join it is happening v j or d j or uh, v d same similar thing is happening. So, in d segment this is the last nucleotide suppose. So, d ends here okay, and j in ends here what will happen rack complex bind to bind and clips the recombination signal sequence. Okay. Recombination signal what is the recombination signal you go and check heptamer is here okay. this is you will find. Now, if you this rack signal rack complex bind and cut where it will cut if you see this let me get the pin first. So, rack complex binds to the uh, recombination signal and cleave that signal and where it will cleave you see this it, it is cleaving just after T and C. Okay. It is cleaving just after T and C in this case it is after after this T A okay. and normally what happened if it cut what is happening if this is the DNA, if this is a DNA, if this is 5 prime and this is 3 prime and this is uh, 5 prime, this is uh, 5 prime and this is 3 prime and what we know all of you know I am just uh, repeating again this is 5 prime is always there is a phosphate and 3 prime there is OH and same way this is a phosphate and this is OH right. So, there is a 3 prime OH and 5 prime phosphate. So, normally if there is any DNA if this is cut we can assume that this is the 3 prime the upper hand side 3 prime there is a OH here and there is a phosphate here that is normally it happen if you cut, but this particular and the same way is it is here also right. So, it will be phosphate and this will be OH. Okay. So, now what is happening I will erase this part. Now, what is happening normally that will remain as free end 5 prime phosphate and 3 prime hydroxyl end is remain free in a double stranded DNA. If you make a PCR or if you just digest a DNA with a restriction enzyme they will remain as free phosphate and free hydroxyl group, but here what is happening which is uh, very interesting this phosphate and hydroxyl make a this phosphate and hydroxyl make a link okay, phosphodiester bond. So, open hydroxyl and phosphate will make a phosphodiester bond. So, what will happen we will see a hairpin loop like structure. So, one DNA double standard is there, but there will be phosphodiester bond clear. So, that means, it is a continuous thing it is just a loop like structure. Then so, that is the beauty of RAG. Okay. So, endonuclease is cutting and making that hairpin loop at the end between the two strand. Then again it will cut here you see the arrow it will cut again here. So, what will happen then if you cut here the endonuclease instead of only T C it will get a sequence T C A G. So, this end is free. So, 1 2 G A here and a t here it is extra it was not there before it was there in other stand, but not in the same stand. Now, if this DNA synthesized 
if DNA this DNA straight away synthesize because this is 3 prime. Okay. So, these DNA synthesize somehow what we will see? We will see A, G, C and T and same way if you see what you will see T, A, T, A. So, this we will see and if you complete what will happen? It was originally this. If you just join this, if you just join this two end, if you just join this two end, there will be T C T A A G A T. It is supposed to be that only four nucleotide, but now due to this cut and hairpin loop, it has become four four instead of four, it will become eight. So, four extra nucleotide came in between this B and J junction that was not there before. Okay, but it did not happen this way. It is not that straightforward that it will go and happen this. I mean, synthesize this sequence. Okay. It will not synthesize that way after making this sequence. So, after making the hairpin and an internal cut rag mediated cleavage generate p nucleotides. I will come what is that p this p nucleotide. Then T D T come into picture what I just told you T D T is an enzyme which can add nucleotide randomly and template independent way to the 3 prime end of the DNA 3 prime hydroxyl end of the DNA. So, what was there? It was there T C G A was there. Okay. T C G A was there and here it was T A T A and T D T is going to add the nucleotide randomly and there is I mean nobody knows what nucleotide is going to come and how many number it will come. So, it will carry on like T C G A was then C T C then it was A G C G A T A it is random it is going to add. How long it will continue? So, these DNA are very close, they are together very close because all other protein uh, kept them together. So, it will con continue this way, another sequence is con going to continue this way. What will happen as this addition of nucleotide is random? So, this random nucleotide also, if you continue, because there are only 4 nucleotide, there is not much variability in that. So, once they will get a complementarity. So, while this is synthesizing they will make a complementarity like so in upper stand C T C added and lower stand C G A is the last. So, what is happening this T A and C G. So, two sequence two DNA sequence of a single standard DNA sequence is progressing like this and sometimes they find the complementarity. So, as soon as they find complementarity it become double standard right. It was like this growing and growing as soon as they find complementarity they become double standard. As soon as it become double standard T D T cannot work because terminal deoxy transferase can add nucleotide only to the single standard. So, T D T stop working. Okay. So, what is happening and what happened? what happened. So, in this case, so this is 3 prime and this is also 3 prime. So, if there is any extra that T will fall apart because they cannot match. Okay. So, then there is a DNA polymerase that DNA polymerase which was we are talking about that DNA polymerase will continue to synthesize. So, what will happen is very simple I am not going to draw uh, here because it is already drawn here. So, if you see it was up to only C T C and then they pair between this A G and T C this this was pair during synthesis then rest of the part will be synthesized this direction th and this direction. So, they will fill up the gap by DNA polymerase and after DNA polymerase fill up the gap definitely there are ligase that ligase will join this this end. Okay, this is very common mechanism every time it is happening it is not very particular about this lymphocyte recombination inside the limb, uh, this T and B lymphocyte, but it is continuously it is happening. In any cell any time DNA repair DNA breakage excision repairs 
deletion repair. So, there are so many varieties of DNA repair, variety of uh, enzymes are there to repair the DNA. So, this machinery is not new, okay. but what is the uh, inter what is uh, interesting part of this? What is the result of this? This result is it was only 2 before, okay. it was only 2 before when it was started with D and J. So, 2 nucleotide now you see how many it become it now it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That means, there are 11 so, there are 2 to 4 now they are 13 that means, 9 nucleotide was added in between. Okay. In that 9 nucleotide if you see in that 9 nucleotide if you see that this part the TCGA TCGA TCGA. So, in this part and in this TCGA this sequence and TA TA this is palindromic. Palindrome, you know, palindrome normally we say the like uh, if there is some word that we, which we can uh, uh, read either side will same thing like madam m a d a m either side you read it is madam. There are many such word, it, but in DNA palindromic means that um, uh, g a a t t c this is equal one side g a t t c. So if you make if you write g a a t t c and the complement g a a t t c. So, both direction both the stand you read same g a t t c g a t t c. So, that is 5 prime to 3 prime and 5 prime to 3 prime. So, if you see this this is called palindrome in DNA. So, this sequence you will see that t c g a t c g a. Okay. So, this part become palindrome because it is eventually it should come because if you see this how it happened the origin is very clear this palindromic part is called p nucleotide. In palindrome also there are two nucleotide extra. So, this p nucleotide this is called palindrome okay, because this is a palindromic sequence both side it is a palindrome, but in between the sixth nucleotide uh, 5 nucleotide that uh, in between this g a g c g which is added by this t d t which is random. Okay. So, this randomness can make any combination of 5 or 6 nucleotide or 7 nucleotide that is also not in uh, control. So, uh, it depends again uh, it is a random process. So, these 5 nucleotide which is randomly added in between D and J this is called n nucleotide. So, now you imagine there are some fixed D sequence 1 to 23 and there are some j sequence they can join that gives you suppose there are 10 d and 5 j how many combination is possible if they are randomly they any one of them can join 10 and 5 50. But if this join makes some nucleotide change which can contribute the uh, 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 number of amino acids is maybe 1 2 3 that number of amino acids can increase because of addition of the nucleotide. So, that variety is not anymore easily calculate you can do like just by multiplication. Okay. So, this addition of p and n nucleotide or n p nucleotide in between the junction like d j or v d j. So, in case of heavy chain there will be two such cases d j 1 will happen and one v d recombination two places it will add the n and p nucleotide. In case of light chain only in the c d r 3 because the j segment and d seg uh, uh, v segment is one continuing the c d r 3 region only. Okay. So, in light chain there will be only one place where this p n nucleotide addition is going to happen in case of heavy chain there are two sites where n p nucleotide addition will happen and that will very unlikely that each case or each time this addition is very similar or identical okay, as it is completely normal and this n and p nucleotide addition gives a huge amount of diversity. Okay, huge amount of diversity and which was 
this is the case like if you see the germline theory and somatic uh, uh, theory <coughs> uh, then what we see that definitely we are inheriting some genes or gene segment from our parents like VDJ part is inherited from our parents right. Combination is ours we do not know what is going to happen and this N and P nucleotide addition is continuously happening every time the recombination is happened during the synthesis and the maturation uh, during the synthesis of B cell receptor or T cell receptor that is totally random and this N p nucleotide addition gives a huge diversity which was not known and not existed before. And this is the third reason of um, antibody diversity or the nucleotide I mean uh, lymphocyte receptor diversity. Okay. So, we will have very uh, one more points left for um, that. Uh, receptor diversity of B cell or B lymphocytes and that will uh, that time I mean next lecture we will discuss that. Okay? See you then.